الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي اللهم افتح علينا حكمتك وانشر علينا رحمتك يا ذا الجلال والإكرام Oh Allah Azza wa Jal, open the doors of knowledge and wisdom for us. Have mercy on us, O oh, the one who is the most honorable, the most gracious. بلغ العلاب كماله كشف الدجا بجماله حسنت جميع خصاله صلوا عليه وآله. Start your day with the remembrance of Allah Azza wa Jal. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. All praises belong to Allah Azza wa Jal. Our sustainer, provider, cherisher, and nourisher, the master of the day of judgment, the owner, initiator, and creator of everything that exists. We send peace and blessings upon his most exalted and celebrated prophet, the peace of Rahmah, the intercessor of the Ummah, the owner of Jannah, Arwahuna Fida sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who is resting beneath the Illuminous Dome in Madinatul Munawwara. We send peace and blessings upon his illustrious family and his noble companions, alayhi muridwan. Dear viewers, marhaba, ahlan wa sahlan bikum to one and all to our daily program called The Early Echo. Inshallah, Zawajalla, in today's episode and program, we are going to be speaking about the signs of accepted hajj. Subhanallah. Please stay tuned with us till the end of our program. For the social media viewers, marhaba, welcome to one and all, inshallah, for those who are watching us off the Facebook page or our YouTube channel, inshallah, we are now going to be listening to the blessings of reciting Durudi Park thereafter a beautiful kalam that we will be listening to and thereafter we will continue with our discussion. Listen to this fragrant hadith of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in a book called Al-Qawl al-Badi' as he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has stated the one who faces any difficulty should recite salat upon me in abundance because reciting salat is a means of remaining safe from troubles and afflictions allahu akbar sayyidi ala hazrat imam ahmad rida khan rahmatullahi ta'ala he states in his poetry kaabe ke badr duja tum pe karoro durud taiba ke shams duha تم پہ کڑو رو درود صلو علی الحبیب صلی اللہ علی محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم صلاة و سلام علیکہ یا سیدی یا رسول اللہ و سلم علیکہ یا سیدی یا نبی اللہ A beautiful kalam cited by Abdulazim Attari سلمہ الباری and when we do return inshallah yes signs of accepted haji is our discussion for this morning, listen to the fragrant ahadith of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that will motivate you and uh, will encourage you to also make dua and increase his desire to go for hajj as well. Stay tuned with Madani channel. Sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ala muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Aqa, aqa, aqa. जिसने जिसको मिला वो मदीने गया वो मदीने गया मेरा कुछ ना बना मैं गिर गया वो बुलाते रहे सबकी जाते रहे एक मेरे सिवा मैं गिर गया
Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And trust me, dear viewers, this kalam was rejuvenating, spiritually uplifting. Apne aankho ko malu, aapke chokhat se nabi. Allahu Akbar. Subhanallah, subhanallah. It is to rub the eyes at the chokhat, at the door step of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And this is the dua and the iltija, a faryad and a plea from an ummati, O the beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallama. Dear viewers and listeners of Madani channel, what a beautiful, beautiful and amazing kalam by our respected and honorable Hafiz Abdul Azim Attari sallamahu al-bari, mashallah. Remember dear viewers of Madani channel, ye jitne hum kalam sun rahe hote, Madinah ka zikr hai, Makkah ka zikr hai, subhanallah, and reminds us of the beautiful Makkah and Madinah. Remember, Hajj is a basic pillar of Islam and a very, very, very important act of worship. In order to perform this obligatory act every year, millions and millions of Muslims wear simple and single attire, irrespective of their color and race, forgetting their disagreements, and they all gather on the blessed land of the Haramain Tayyibain. Subhanallah. They gather on the blessed land of the Haram Sharif, which is in Makkah al-Mukarramah. The world, even today, dear viewers of Madani channel, is astounded to see this amazing example of unity. This moment is not less than a great blessing for the Hajis, as these fortunate people are blessed with the special favors of Allah Azza wa Jalla, and are blessed with such great gifts in exchange of their Hajj, that the Muslims who are not financially and physically able to perform Hajj, when they hear about them, they develop this deep desire to pay a visit to the sacred place as well. It's so natural when you hear about people going for Hajj. Now listen to the beautiful, fragrant hadith of our beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallama with regards to visiting Haramain Tayyibain. The beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says in a hadith, a Hajj pilgrim will intercede on behalf of 400 Muslims of his family members. Meaning, of course, they will be Muslims. So he will intercede for 400 of his family members and his sins will be removed as if he was born from the womb of his mother that day. Allahu Akbar. The day he was born from the womb of his mother, his sins would be washed in a similar way. Dear viewers, he would intercede for 400 members of his family members. Subhanallah. Listen to another hadith as he sallallahu alayhi wa further states, perform hajj. Because Hajj erases sins as water washes dirt away. Allahu Akbar. In another hadith, the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa says, When you meet a Haji, greet him and shake hands with him. And ask him to make dua for your forgiveness. Before he enters his home, ask him to make dua for you because he has been forgiven. A Haji has been forgiven, dear viewers of Madani channel. Allahu Akbar. All these narrations are there to motivate us and to remind us that this is the status of the hujjaj, the one who leaves with the intention to perform hajj and then dies. The beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa has said that Allah will write the reward of hajj for him until the day of judgment. And the one who leaves with the intention to perform umrah and then dies on his way, so for him the reward of umrah will be written repeatedly until the day of judgment. Allahu Akbar. May Allah Azza wa Jalla grant us all the ijazah and the permission to enter into Madinatul Munawwara and Makkatul Mukarramah. Zadahallahu sharfa wa ta'zima. Trust me, these four narrations which I have presented shows us the limitless mercy of Allah Azza wa Jalla, which has no limits, no boundaries, dear viewers of Madani channel. Let us, inshallah, Azza wa Jalla, together Make this dua in the court of Allah Azza wa Jalla, in the court of the beloved Rasul Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam. Bula lo phe mujhe shai baharo bai madine me Bula lo phe mujhe shai baharo bai Madine me me pedro ta hua aao tere dar par.
مدینے میں میں پھر روتا ہوا آؤں تیرے در پر مدینے میں آمین بجاہ النبی الامین صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم I would love to share a beautiful parable dear viewers of a great saint in Islam by the name of حضرت سیدنا مالک بن دینار رحمت اللہ تعالی علیہ and he has stated that for 14 years Allah عز و جل has blessed me with the opportunity of performing my حج and every year he says I saw a holy man holding the door of the holy Kaaba when he would say لبیک اللہم لبیک لبیک لا شریک لکا لبیک ان الحمد و نعمت لکا والملک یہ جو انوائرمنٹ ہے اٹمسفیر آپ سب ہی جانتے ہوں گے what a beautiful atmosphere and environment is when all the fujjad unanimously recite this takbir and talbiya when they recite and make the dhikr of Allah عز و جل Every time he said this, a voice could be heard from an unknown source saying, La Labbaik. I asked him on the 14th year if he was deaf. He replied that he was hearing it. I'm not deaf. Then I asked him, why was he taking so much of trouble then? When you can hear a sound, he's saying, Lo, no Labbaik for you. Allahu Akbar. You are saying you are present, you are there, but your presence is not accepted. Allahu Akbar. So he told me, O oh Shaykh, I swear an oath that despite these 14 years, if I were of 14,000 years old and despite of the entire year, if this reply, yani, la labbaik is heard every day for 1,000 times, even then I will not raise my head from this door. I would have my head on this door and I would continue asking for the mercy of Allah Azza wa Jalla. He rahmatullahi ta'ala then said, while we were conversing all of a sudden, this person was telling me his feelings that what is this 14 years that you are talking about, even if I was of 14,000 years, and what is every year, the entire, if this reply is heard every day for 1,000 times, even then I would not move from this door. I would beg from the mercy of Allah Zawajalla. He says, whilst I was having this conversation with him, all of a sudden, a piece of paper fell on the chest of this man. He gave me the piece of paper. I read it. It was written, Oh Malik bin Dinar, you want to separate my bondsman from me? As I have not accepted his hajj for 14 years, it is not like this, but listen. I have accepted the Hajj of all the pilgrims, all the Hujjaj over this period of time by the virtue of the call of this person so that no one goes empty-handed. Every person is blessed by the virtue of this person. Allahu Akbar. Dear viewers of Madani Channel, Subhanallah. What an amazing environment and atmosphere to be in the midst of such holy men and we don't know who they are. Allah Zawajalla has kept this as a secret, dear viewers. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and may Allah azza wa jalla pardon our sins. May Allah azza wa jalla accept all our du'as. Let's make this beautiful du'a in munajat. Let's make this du'a. Maghfirat ka hu tujh se suwaadi Phir na apne dar se na khali مغفرت کا ہو تجھ سے سوالی پھر نہ اپنے در سے نہ خالی مجھ گناہ گار کی التجا ہے یا خدا تجھ سے میری دعا ہے یا خدا تجھ سے میری دعا ہے آمین بجاہ النبی الامین صلی اللہ تعالی علیہ وسلم Dear viewers of Madani Channel Subhanallah The rulings of Hajj are very important. The person upon whom Salah is obligatory to perform Salah is obligatory and 
It is not only fard upon him to read namaz, but the rulings are necessary for him to learn as well as to act upon those rulings that he knows, dear viewers. And then he can hope for acceptance. Likewise, dear viewers of Madhini channel, if a person upon whom hajj is farub and he wants his hajj to be accepted, then he should learn the rulings of hajj. And it is also extremely necessary for him to act upon those rulings during hajj so that he can achieve his target and his hajj can be accepted. Our discussion is an accepted hajj. Now, there are prerequisites, dear viewers of Madhini channel. This was a very spiritual side of what we discussed about Malik bin Dinar, that story, subhanAllah. For 14 years, this person goes there, but the virtue, but the blessings of this one person is called. He says, Labbaik, despite him hearing La Labbaik, he continues to ask from the merciful door of Allah Azza wa Jalla. He continues to knock on the door for 14 years and he was not turned away. He did not despair from the mercy of Allah Azza wa Jalla. As he Azza wa Jalla has said, La taqnatu min rahmatillah. Subhanallah. Despite that, dear viewers of Madhini channel, let's speak on the realistic part of it. Millions of people go out there for Hajj. As I said, if you desire for your Salah, if you want your Namaz to be accepted, the prerequisites are the rulings of Salah and then for you to practice those rulings during your Salah in order for you to achieve your target of Allah accepting your Salah. And if Hajj is farad upon you, then from amongst the prerequisites, aside from you booking your hotel, booking your comfort zone of where you're going to stay and how you're going to travel, aside from these actions, dear viewers of Madhini channel, there are many other prerequisites for one to know the rulings of Hajj. Allahu Akbar. We need to know the rulings according to the manners given to us by Allah Azza wa Jalla and His beloved Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. After taking absolute care and exercising full responsibility, we should be very hopeful to the mercy of Allah Azza wa Jalla for our good deeds to be accepted and we should have acceptance of deeds to the mercy of Allah Azza wa Jalla. He Azza wa Jalla is the one who accepts the deeds of a person. Therefore, to intentionally become lazy in learning rulings and after performing the acts of worship incorrectly, after doing the wrong things during Hajj, for example, or in Salah, or during fasting, for example, if we are still hopeful for them to be accepted, it is a waste of act, dear viewers of Madhani Channel. Because it is extremely necessary to learn the Shari'i rulings in order to perform these acts of worship. Allahu Akbar. Now, when a person would do this, dear viewers of Madhani Channel, then only a person could judge by their actions by seeing whether the Hajj is accepted or not, how the Ihram should be, in what state should one be, what are the do's and don'ts during Hajj, dear viewers of Madhani channel. I mean, there is a ruling and there's a hadith of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wasallam as stated by Hazrat Sayyidina Abu Sa'id radiallahu ta'ala anhu. He has narrated that the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wasallam has said that learn the rulings of Hajj because it is a part of your religion. It is part of your deen, Allahu Akbar. So there are lots of prerequisites for the Hajj to become obligatory firstly. And it's important for a person to go through those rulings. For example, uh, as mentioned by Hadrat Sayyiduna Allama Mawlana Amjad Ali Azmi Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Ali. He says there are eight prerequisites of Hajj which are obligatory. When all these prerequisites are met, then only Hajj becomes farad upon a person. Now, what are those prerequisites? Let's go through them very quickly, dear viewers, to increase our general knowledge. And this is extremely important for us to learn. Number one, he says Islam, meaning being a Muslim. Zayi Musalman pele, banda pele Musalman toho. He has to accept Allah Azza wa Jalla as his Lord, as his sustainer, provider, cherisher, nourisher, as Allah Azza wa Jalla, as one Khuda and God. And thereafter, the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa as his final messenger, you become a Muslim, of course. And then the second is being healthy. His body should be safe. He should not be uh, blind because those whose arms and legs are disabled or paralyzed. Or the elderly who cannot sit in their vehicles on their own, for them, Hajj is not obligatory, dear viewers. Number three, he says being sane because Hajj is not obligatory for those who are insane. Number four, being an adult. Number five, being free because Hajj is not obligatory for slaves. Number six, he should own the money 
that will be spent on his journey to higher transport or for his stay on and duration during his Hajj period. Number seven, he should not be in Darul Harub, but he, uh, and if he is in a such place, dear viewers of Madani channel, meaning if he is in Darul Harub, but he also knows that amongst the obligate, obligatory acts of Islam, one of them is to perform Hajj, even if he's in such a place, such as Darul Harub. If he does not know this, Hajj is not obligatory upon such a person. If he does not know the Masail. Number eight, Allama Amjad Ali Azmi Rahmatullahi Ta'ala says, time and season of Hajj. Meaning, all the prerequisites or conditions are to be followed only in the months of Hajj. All these rulings of Hajj can only be done during Hajj, of course, dear viewers. Of all those actions which are carried out during the Hajj. Now, this Masail can un be understood from the footnotes which I explained in Bahari Shariat, of course. One should go there, inshallah, and go through them and, and understand that besides being a great act of worship, Hajj becomes a cause of visiting many sacred places as well where du'as are answered, where it is in the Hatim, whether it is the Hatim Kaaba, for example, Allahu Akbar, or by the Mizad Rahmat, or Maqam Ibrahim, or the plains of Arafah, Mina, or Muzdalifa. Or talk about the cave of Hira, Allahu Akbar, or the beautiful and attractive valleys of Makkah al-Mukarrama. In short, everywhere the mercies of Allah Azza wa Jalla continues to descend. The doors of answering du'as and blessings, as well as the divine pleasure, remain open for the hujjaj who go on for hajj, dear viewers. And they are blessed with forgiveness day and night. Subhanallah. Therefore, considering this opportunity sufficient, hajjis, should make dua for themselves and for all Muslims by weeping and crying and begging Allah Azza wa Jalla. They should especially make this dua, oh Allah Azza wa Jalla, make this hajj, hajj mabroor, an accepted hajj for us. Every haji should make this dua. And for those who haven't been for hajj, make this dua as well, that Allah take you for hajj. Allahu Akbar. Because hajj mabroor has great excellence and significance in Islam. Therefore, during Hajj, this dua should be made often. Allahumma marzuqna hajjam mabrooran wa zambam maghfooran wa sa'yam mashkooran wa tajaratan lan tabura. This dua should be made. Oh Allah, Azza wa Jal, bless us with hajj mabroor and accept the hajj. Wa zambam maghfoora, forgive our sins. Wa sa'yam mashkoora, accept our efforts. Wa tajaratan lan tabura. And with such a trade that has no loss in it. Allahu Akbar. If the Hujjaj would make this dua, dear viewers, for you, subhanAllah, may the dua be accepted. May Allah Azza wa Jalla grant us all the blessings of Makkah al Mukarramah and Madina al Munawwara. Dikha di ya ilahi wuh Madina, kaisi basti hai, jaha par raat din mola teri rahmat barasti hai, subhanAllah. Dear viewers of Madini channel, Hajj Mabroor and the, the virtues of Hajj Mabroor and accepted Hajj. This is our discussion. This is our topic, subhanAllah. Abdullah Sune, listen to the virtues of accepted Hajj. Watch is Hajj Mabroor. The beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in a hadith had said the reward of an accepted Hajj is not less than paradise. Ah, jannah se kam nahi hai. It was humbly asked, what is meant by maqbool, accepted it was replied, the Hajj in which food is given. The Holy Rasul had mentioned, food is given and good conversation is made. Hi, hi, hi. Subhanallah, subhanallah, subhanallah. And good conversation is made. In another hadith, he sallallahu alayhi wasallam has stated that the reward of an accepted Hajj is paradise. The companions humbly asked, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallama, what is an accepted Hajj? It was replied, the Hajj in which the hungry are fed and Salaam is to be promoted. Salaam, to make Salaam to people, to spread love and harmony and peace and to feed the hungry. Mubarak to those Hajjaj who went off the way and they saved for themselves and from their countries they went with the knee of helping the poor people. Allahu Akbar. The beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa has stated in the hadith, the best deed before Allah azza wa jalla is the faith which has no doubt, the war which has no breach of trust, and the accepted hajj. Allahu Akbar. Undoubtedly, all of this that we have just mentioned is through the grace and mercy of Allah azza wa jalla, that every year millions of devotees are blessed to visit the sacred house, meaning the Kaaba. Furthermore, they go out to the sacred places and repent for their sins by weeping, 
devotedly. They'll be holding the doors of the Kaaba. Mizabe Rahmat, Allahu Akbar, Koi Safa or Marwa Pehoga. Somebody could be consuming the beautiful water of Zamzam and crying at this moment saying, Labbaik Allahumma Labbaik, Labbaik Allah Sharika Laka Labbaik. Innal hamda wa ni'mata laka wal mulk. With the hope of their hajj being accepted and they remain occupied with dua and istighfar. Oh lovers, oh the beloved Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's lovers, oh the followers of the sunnah of the beloved Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who fill in the forms of hajj. O oh, lovers of the beloved Rasul who prepare for Hajj, yes, congregation and Mubarak to all of those who prepare for their Hajj in this way, spiritually and by learning the rules and regulations for Hajj. It is very important. The Holy Kaaba, which you only used to see in the pictures and derive comfort from, Allahu Akbar, you know, sing deeply and weep with the desire of its view. For those blessed people, Allahu Akbar, who worked so hard day and night and you saved little, little amount at a time. I'm saying this once again, reminding you that you are so fortunate of being there at this moment. Allahu Akbar. Amir Ahl Sunnat, Hazrat Allama Mawlana Abu Bilal Muhammad Ilya Sattar Qadri, Radhabi Damad Barakat Mullah Aliya has also said, when a haji intends to visit the houses, he visits the house of Allah Azza wa Jalla and his beloved Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with the love of Allah Azza wa Jalla in his heart and his chest filled with the love of the beloved Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is something exceptional. This is also a sign of accepted hajj. Even you go with the passion of following the sunnah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You are not only concerned about how comfortable your stay would be. You wouldn't complain about the geyser water not being hot on time, for example. You will be complaining about the food not being prepared on time. A person wouldn't be spending his time and his moments complaining about the heat, about how much of troubles and hassles he had on the bus, for example. What troubles he had faced whilst walking. He wouldn't be spending his time remembering the difficult moments, dear viewers. No. He goes there with the special and exceptional love he has in his heart for Allah Azza wa Jalla and his beloved Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allahu Akbar. On the blessed Hajj journey, there should also be a strong, staunch Muslim, a scholar, a pious person who has the love for Allah Azza wa Jalla and his Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who should also be a lover of Ghosi Azam and who believes in the slogans of Ya Rasulullah Sallallahu so that they could be a guide to the pilgrims, to the judge at every step, dear viewers of Madani channel. Subhanallah. Amir Asunat also says, if only the hajis could perform a hajj with the blessed intention of pleasing Allah Azza wa Jalla and not with the intention of being a so-called haji. If the hajj is performed with this niyat that I don't want to be called haji when I go back. I don't want to be welcomed you know, with garlands. I don't want people to come to the airport to receive me because if they're not going to come, I will feel disappointment in my heart. Shaitan would toss and turn you, just as children play with toys, dear viewers of Madani channel. He would take advantage of this little intention that you have in your heart, the desire of being welcomed. You know, the desire of people gathering around you and to see that you are so fortunate that you have come from there. This ostentation is something which could lead a person into the hell fire. Allahu Akbar. So, so this is something which we should avoid, dear viewers of Madinah Channel. It is something which we should ask Allah Azza wa Jalla for repentance and we should in our heart remember that these are the prerequisites of Islam that we should first learn the rulings of performing Hajj. We should go with such pure intentions not to please people, not to show others, not to show off about the deeds performed at those places to remain patient over the difficulties, whether it is the heat, whether it is the food, whether it is the journey and the travel, no matter what may have happened, have this niyyah that I will observe patience and sabr jiyya, viewers of Madani channel. Subhanallah. Now, let's listen to some of the prerequisites which our other scholars have mentioned. Allama Maulana Amjad Ali Azmi Rahmatullahi Ta'ala also states with regards to the prerequisites and he says, that Allah Azza wa Jalla has said in Surah Al-Baqarah, verse number 197, فَلَا رَفَثَ وَلَا فُصُوقَ وَلَا جِدَالَ فِي الْحَجِّ Then there should be 
no mention of copulation before woman, no any sin, no quarreling with anyone till the time of Hajj. Now, commenting on this verse, listen to the tafsir and the commentary of this ayah. Allama Mawlana Amjad Ali Azmi Rahmatullahi Ta'ala has said that during the Hajj, such evil activities must be avoided. When he gets angry or he gets into an argument or he even has the thought of committing any sin, then he should recite La hawla wa la quwwata illa billahi al-aliyyil azim. One or two times with full concentration, Allahu Akbar. And he should stop, he should stop thinking of the evil. But despite all of that, dear viewers, despite whatever we mention, Fights and arguments still occur. A quarrel will break out between the Hujjaj and at times even other people who are present use you know, foul language and unreasonably quarrel with the Hujjaj, with the Haji Sahib for no reason. Allahu Akbar, this is a tough test for the Haji. He should always be cautious and avoid quarrels so that the effects, this doesn't affect his money, his journey that he spent during this Hajj. Otherwise everything is for waste. Everything is null and void. He goes all the way there spending thousands of dollars and pounds and rands to go and fight and nullify all his ibadat. How unfortunate he is, dear viewers of Madinah Channel. May Allah Azza wa Jalla bless our viewers in this world as well as in the hereafter. Now, inshallah, Azza wa Jalla, we would like to uh, quote Imam Ghazali rahmatullahi ta'ala Ali and listen to what he has stated, inshallah, Azza wa Jalla. But we have a Madani pearl uh, that we would like to listen and watch as well. And when we do return, inshallah, Azza wa Jalla, we have some beautiful and excellent points that we want to end with, dear viewers, that will give you an open perspective and idea of how should one have his Hajj accepted or what are the prerequisites if you have just given your application and maybe you are hoping for next year to be your turn yes keep the vibe up keep making dua as i said earlier but together with that dear viewers of the channel do not forget that yes a haji needs to follow the prerequisites the masail of hajj making dua and then practicing upon those masail meaning those rulings which you would learn inshallah and whatever else we have mentioned be humble be simple have immense love for allah and his rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam with this intention when you follow his teachings and you follow his sunnah surely you will see the blessings inshallah let's listen to this madani pearls when we do return we are going to be mentioning the pearls imam ghazali rahmatullahi ta'ala has also stated stay tuned with madani channel sallu ala al habib sallallahu ala muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم. The Holy Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said, on the day of judgment, a man will not be able to lift his foot until he is questioned about five things. Number one, what activities did he spend his life on? Number two, how he spent his youth. Number three, where he earned his wealth from. Number four, where he spent that wealth. And number five, to what extent did he act upon the knowledge he had? So, how are we using our free time? The knowledge that we have, that we learn through going to the masjid, through going to our ishtamas, to our gatherings, do we act upon that? That where are we earning our wealth from? Is it halal or is it haram? Where are we spending that wealth? Where is that money going? We need to assess our lives. Where is our life going? In which direction are we going? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability to prepare for these five questions and to use these blessings Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us in the right way and earn risk halal and spend it in halal manners and value our life before we reach death. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Welcome back. MashaAllah. Marhaba, marhaba, marhaba. Uh, yes, dear viewers, we were speaking about the acceptance of Hajj and what can a person do for his Hajj to be accepted. Yes, on yeah, what Imam Ghazali rahmatullahi ta'ala has stated and um, very important, very informative, and this will give us a better understanding and will define uh, what we are discussing, inshallah. He says that it is reported that one of the signs of an accepted Hajj is that a Haji gives up all those acts of disobedience that he was indulged in in the past. He quits the company of bad friends and keeps the company of pious people. Yes. Furthermore, he abandons the gatherings of useless sports and entertainments and attends the gathering of zikr and fikr. Allahu Akbar. The gatherings in which the zikr of Allah and his beloved Rasul is done abundantly as well as the gatherings of contemplation where you contemplate with regards to the hereafter. 
this is the sign of an accepted hajj when a person comes back and he finds these qualities and these habits in himself sayyidi ala hazrat imam ahmad rida khan rahmatullahi ta'ala ali he has said that the sign of an accepted hajj is that the haji becomes better than before when he returns allahu akbar dear viewers of madani channel hazrat allama maulana Mufti Muhammad Amjad Ali Azmi Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Ali has said that the Haji should take provisions more than his need so that he could help his fellow travelers and give sadaqah and charity to the poor. This is also a sign of an accepted Hajj because the hadith which we mentioned earlier that were quoted earlier with regards to what the beloved Rasulullah has said is that the hungry are fed, the poor are fed. And in this way, yes, subhanallah, his Hajj will be accepted. And the ulamas further say an accepted hajj is a hajj during which the haji does not commit any sinful act. Nor is there any doubt of showing off for name and fame. Rather, good deeds are performed only for the pleasure of Allah. He is not there with the intention so that when he does return, he will be called a haji and he will be spoken about how much of care he took for people and how he served the people, how humble he was, so on and so forth. No, his accept. His niyyah was only to please Allah Azza wa Jalla. Subhanallah. So dear viewers of Madani channel, a renowned commentator, a great thinker of the Ummah, Mufti Ahmad Yar Khan Naimi Rahmatullahi Ta'ala, he has also mentioned some signs of an accepted hajj. He says that the beloved Rasulullah has said, an accepted hajj is that hajj which is free from quarrels, sins and showing off and is performed correctly. Mufti Ahmad Yar Khan Naimi Rahmatullahi Ta'ala quotes this narration and he says as well an accepted hajj is the hajj that is performed after offering salah ki jo namaz hi ho jo namaz padhe he doesn't give up his salah and he goes for hajj this is a sign of an accepted hajj he further says an accepted hajj refers to a hajj in which one abstains from sins or the hajj in which one abstains from showing off for name and fame Allahu Akbar. What is an accepted hajj? He further says, an accepted hajj is that after which the haji abstains from sins till his last breath, till his death, and does not perform any act that ruins the essence of his hajj, that ruins the acts performed during his hajj. Entirely this will be ruined and destroyed. He knows that, so he will perform the righteous actions Mufti Ahmad Yar Khan Naimi Rahmatullahi Ta'ala further quotes and says, Sayyidina Hassan Basri Rahmatullahi Ta'ala had said, an accepted hajj is such a hajj after which the haji desires the hereafter and not the world. When you see this change in a haji who went for a hajj and on his way back, he's, you find this change within him, ki dunya wala na raha. Ito Akhirat wala hai, akhirat ke baare mein sochta hai, targheeb dilata hai, madini qafilo mein safar karwata hai, subhanallah. He motivates you to enroll your children to make them ulama and scholars in the jamiat of da'wat islami. He motivates you to do all the pious and good deeds. He has abstained and he has actually abandoned the evil life that he went through. This is a sign of an accepted hajj, dear viewers. Allahu Akbar. It is a hajj that softens the heart of the haji and he has sorrow in his heart and wetness in his eyes all the time. This is the sign of an accepted hajj. Allahu Akbar. An accepted hajj, dear viewers of Madhuri channel, is that is performed correctly with halal earnings and that is performed with sincerity and the haji does not perform any such act till his last breath that ruins his hajj. This is the sign of accepted hajj. The reward of an accepted hajj will not only be in the form of worldly food and forgiveness. No, besides these forgiveness of the sins and salvation from the hell after the torment, paradise will be granted to him. Jannah is for him. Allahu Akbar. Subhanallah. Hajj ka, hajj ka sharaf ho phir ata ya Mustafa. Meetha Madina phir dikha. Ya Rabbi Mustafa. Amin, Thumma Amin, dear viewers of Madani channel. So we have learned here that halal earnings is very important, though we have come to the end of our program and uh, Alhamdulillah, we are discussing this. But remember, dear viewers of Madani channel, how can one 
use haram earnings to perform hajj and, ex and, ex and expect for his hajj to be accepted. No, this is incorrect. Haram earnings with anything do you view of any channel, such as stealing and earning haram and spending that in the path of Allah, how can such a charity also be accepted? So always hope for halal and tayyib sustenance and rosy. Allah is the greatest. Allah is the purest and he loves everything which is pure. This is a hadith of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yes, we have come to the end of our program and episode but we are still inshallah mentioning the prerequisites of, of, of an accepted hajj and one of them at the end of you as we are concluding right now is to basically Allahu Akbar Perform your hajj with halal rosy. So save from today, inshallah. It's never too late. Make lots of dua like our pious predecessors who left on this journey with so much of, of love, Allahu Akbar, and so much of goodness, dear viewers of Madani Channel. If you know of any haji, then yes, rush up to him. Call him up. Ask him to make dua for you. This is also motivated very much in the hadith of the beloved Rasul, sallallahu alayhi wa Why? Because Allah accepts the dua of a haji who performed a hajj. And we don't know, he could be a wali of Allah Jalla. He could be pious dear viewers of Madani channel. Therefore, ask him to make dua for the safety of your iman. Ask him to make dua for barakah and blessings in your risk and rosy. Ask a haji to make dua for death upon iman, for us to leave this world uh, as a sunni ashiq rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallama. Mehu sunni, maru sunni, madine mein. Allahu Akbar. Dear, this is our tamanna and this is our desire. So ask the Hajjaj to make dua for the Ummah of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam at large. And until tomorrow, stay good, be good, do good. Inshallah, tomorrow, same time, same place, we will be back with another powerful episode, inshallah. Stay tuned with us. Keep watching the upcoming events and programs as well, dear viewers. Until then, I leave you with the slogan of Da'wat Islami and that is, I must strive to reform myself and the people of the entire world. إن شاء الله عز وجل صلوا على الحبيب صلى الله على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم